All right, guys, we're back on the road. Um, we are currently going through Pennsylvania on the Pennsylvania Turnpike. Um, looked around, found uh, 76 Corvette, which, you know, a couple years ago, they were a dime a dozen for nice ones. And you can pick them up relatively cheap. In the last two years with COVID and everything else going on, all the cars go up in price. You know, nice original Stingrays actually have climbed dramatically price-wise. So they are harder to find. I mean, you can find the ones that are rattled together and look good from 10 feet away. But the nice original untouched ones are starting to get hard to find. So I found this uh, 76 Corvette. A couple had it for, I think, 20 years. Uh, it's got 48,000 original miles, I believe. So threw a deposit on it run down here Pennsylvania it's about a six and a half hour drive from Kentucky um, used to Pennsylvania I used to live in Jersey so I, I take taking this road tons of times I'm gonna try to get there it's about six I'm gonna try to get there tonight but if I get held up at all in traffic I'll just have to grab a hotel and get it first thing in the morning I'd rather see it in the daylight as well um, but if we make good time maybe I'll snag it tonight and turn around and start heading back uh, get back a little bit early, but we'll see what it looks like. 76 Corvette, 40,000 miles. It is, I believe, fully optioned. It's a like a maroon, I think they call it mahogany that year, paint code. Tan interior, obviously T-tops, but look to be a nice car. Front bumpers uh, deteriorating, which is nice. Uh, it's not nice, but at least has the original rubber bumper on it still so you know it's never been smacked or crashed uh so just a nice original car so we'll see what it looks like and uh i'll pop back up when we get close thanks for checking out the video 76 47,000 original miles numbers matching original paint Needs a front bumper, front original bumper's cracked up. So just a nice original Corvette. Okay guys, now next morning, we got about an hour uh, drive down to get back to Kentucky. But first look in the daylight. Overall, I mean, it's a super nice car. The paint's obviously older, it's original paint. I think it'll shine up pretty nice. There's a ton of little nicks going down the side scratches and stuff so we might be able to just touch up a lot of those rear bumper is kind of off color we'll see if we can bring that back buff that back to match perfectly and then we'll have to replace the front bumper because the front bumper it's all cracked up which is normal for an original car but birdcage is perfect on this which is the windshield pillar back down so that's the problem with these cars frames perfect um, so I'm, I'm happy with it Everything works. In interior is super nice. Gauges, lights, everything. So it, it, just a nice original car. We'll have to get a bumper, throw that on there. Hopefully we can try to match the paint. But first look in the daylight. I was hoping the paint would be a little bit nicer, but I also got a pretty good deal on it, so I can't really complain too much. It is an AC car, power steering, power brake. And for an original Corvette, it's, it's pretty nice. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. We got about six six hours to get back to Kentucky. We want to load it. We'll try to clean up the paint. We'll see if we can do a couple more videos. And we'll try to attack that bumper this week. So, 76 Corvette numbers matching, 47,000 original miles. All right, guys, we made it back. It was a seven hour drive home. I did pop the hood so you can see what it looks like. We are going to clean it off and try to buff out the paint. There's, in the sun, some spots that are starting to get light. So I'm going to try to buff them out and see if I can get them looking a little bit better. Here's the front bumper. Obviously, I said that needs replaced. So we'll get online, see what we can find there. Didn't see the motor, so pretty much stock car, stock you know, power steering, power brakes, air conditioning car. 
untouched, just stock uh, looking. So we can detail up a little bit, but we don't have to go crazy with it. We'll buy the new air cleaner dam or whatever you want to call it. But overall, took it around the block, runs great. 47,000 original miles, the back bumper. I'll try to polish that, see if I can get that to match a little bit better. It's just that original urethane rubber type bumper that fades, so I might be able to bring that back. But I'll start cleaning her up. Thanks for checking out the video. 76 Corvette Stingray, 47,000 miles, numbers matching, automatic, obviously T tops. Pretty good trip. Got out there and back in a day. 14 hours of driving, 15 hours of driving probably. Thanks for checking out the videos.